Hello and welcome to Juliet and Pino play Minecraft. Hello, I am Juliet and I am joined by Pino Grigio, my friendly wine. You'll notice today that I'm wearing a new skin. Um, why did I pick this one? I was going for a WWE uh, diva referee. Um, as with all of my skin, I feel completely ridiculous, so I'm sure that this will be temporary. So uh, anyway, um, not a lot has changed other than that. Uh, and uh, oh, oh, that's because I'm looking up at the sky. Okay, so what I wanted to do today <laughs> was show you how my church build is coming along because I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, here we go. Um, it's only been a few days, uh, but I've been working on little else, and I'm really pleased. I changed quite a few things and still have a couple things I want to um, add to it, and hopefully it'll become visible here pretty soon. Um, we just upgraded uh, to a new version of uh, of Minecraft and thank God April Fools is over because yesterday was just unbearable. There was water, water, water everywhere. <laughs> so okay, so what's changed since the last time uh, I was here is I've built um, at least the bones for the courtyard area. Um, I'm quite happy with the fountain. Um, I discovered that we were selling that uh, chiseled stone block in the um, in the square, so I was able to buy it there. Uh, as far as the fencing outside um, this courtyard, I definitely have not decided which direction I want to go. I hate cobble, um, so I'm probably not going to use that over there. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this, this look right here. Um, I like it because unlike you know a fence, you can still jump over it if you need to, and I'm usually fleeing um, from uh, from something that's chasing me out here. So uh, as far as the outside goes, um, I've made a lot of improvements. Um, the stained glass is, is definitely new, and wait till you see the inside. I'm a little bit excited. Um, so uh, what I've done is I originally started with red, and even though I was sure that was the color I wanted, um, it, it turns out that blue was really the color that I uh, was happiest with. So um, I've used uh, lapis blocks uh, for um, the entryway, uh, also as accents in the back there and along the sides. Um, I have, uh, I did install that extra seating up there. Um, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, on either side of the entryway, you've got your uh, holy water. Uh, so I thought that was a nice touch. Um, let's see what else. I'm still, I still have my building supplies here because I'm not quite sure if we're done yet. Um, what should I talk about next? Um, I think my favorite thing uh, about the church build um, is I guess it's a tie between the stained glass, which I just love it. I, I love the stained glass, and I think it really um, looks churchy. And the second thing, um, favorite thing I like about it is um, is the cross because, um, I don't know, it just looks pretty. And it, it hangs there suspended with nothing, uh, nothing holding it up, so I thought that was pretty cool. And um, per uh, Garvin's suggestion... Uh, I used a spell book um, up at the front, uh, and I just think that's so cool. And then, of course, um, this was important to me. Uh, my church is is really uh, good about this. Um, anyone who wants to come up and get communion can, unlike uh, some places that you go where you have to be baptized first or you have to go through a big rigmarole. Basically, anyone's welcome. Anyone is welcome. Um, okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you was the cool organ over here. Um, this was really fun to make because I had no idea what I was doing, and right now none of the switches work. 
but I'm hoping that the guys um, on the server who did um, this really cool saloon build will help me uh, make this so that it works, so that if you flip a switch, it'll play something. Um, so hopefully Blue and Garvin will be able to help me with that at some point, because right now all the switches, they're all just very pretty and they don't do anything. But it looks, I think it looks quite like a pipe organ, and I spent a lot of time uh, trying different things to, uh, to get this look. So, um, also new is this um, confessional booth. And um, we are going through a learning curve right now with, uh, oh, <laughs> with um, <laughs> this moss uh, or uh, vines or whatever it is. I tried installing some string to keep the growth to a minimum because this set over here is supposed to be, you know, like for the, the priest or whatever to go in, right? And he shuts the door. But I think how they normally set it up is there aren't two doors. There's usually like a curtain over here. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them because um, this is just out of control and <laughs> the string is not working. So <laughs> I would love a suggestion on that. Um, cool. Okay, so let's go in here. Um, each of these is identical. Uh, you can enter to go up to the seating up here and it's just a little bit of extra seating. Um, for the people who come late to church and cannot sit in their favorite row. Um, then if we go up just a little bit further, we are going to um, get a beautiful view of the roof. And I use beautiful loosely because, you know, this is, this is really the first time I've built something um, quite so massive as this. And, um, you know, it's just not what I wanted, this roof. Um, I do love the dark oak, um, and I'm pleased with that, but I just, um, I guess, never really built a roof before, and I hate how it, how it looks. Um, so at some point, that is going to get fixed. Um, okay, so future plans. I'm pretty happy with, um, with the inside of the church, so... What will happen now is sort of the phase two of the project is building out some of this area. Um, I also need to work um, a lot more on um, on the entryway. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm acrobatic. So this right here needs to be just a lot more impressive. Um, it needs to have, uh, all this is driving me crazy, all that sand. So that's got to get evened out. And I need to have a road um, that leads here uh, as well as sort of um, a step up into this courtyard area. Also, um, at some point, Judas and I are going to go exploring into, um, I also need to connect it, into the catacombs, the church catacombs. Now, I didn't build this. Instead, I inherited it from someone else and down here are these just massive um, caverns that are just waiting to be explored. So at, at some point, probably maybe phase three, I will get into doing that. So let me get back out of here. Um, yeah, I inherited this little piece in the desert. Someone had done quite a bit of digging down here before I got to it. But I'm very happy to have it. So, um, that's probably, um, so let's see what else. Phase two, um, definitely need to have a cemetery, um, somewhere. I'm probably going to move my memorial to 3MB over here somewhere. Um, look at all those heathens. They need, they need church. That's what they need. And down in here. I inherited this too, and I don't know if I'm going to make this like a special uh, library that's only for like the pastor or whatever. I don't know. Um, some kind of secret location to do something fun with, and I'm probably going to build, um, I'm going to make it a lot prettier down here. It's definitely uh, not very stylish down here, but we've got the bones, which is what's important. So... 
I'm also thinking about doing a little wedding chapel of some sort or just um, something where they could have maybe some events. So also I still need to do something with that. So that is all I wanted to share today. Uh, thank you for joining. If you have any suggestions on how uh, to improve or maybe another mini project you could see um, that might work for this, let me know. Um, otherwise, have a great day.